in topology and related branches of mathematics. A connected space is a topological space that cannot be represented as the union of two or more disjoint non-empty open subsets. Connectedness is one of the principal topological properties that is used to distinguish topological spaces. A stronger notion is that of a path-connected space, which is a space where any two points can be joined by a path. A subset of a topological space X is a connected set if it is a connected space when viewed as a subspace of X. An example of a space that is not connected is a plane with an infinite line deleted from it. Other examples of disconnected spaces include the plane with an annulus removed, as well as the union of two disjoint closed disks, where all examples of this paragraph bear the subspace topology induced by two-dimensional Euclidean space. Formal definition. A topological space X is said to be disconnected if it is the union of two disjoint non-empty open sets. Otherwise, X is said to be connected. A subset of a topological space is said to be connected if it is connected under its subspace topology. Some authors exclude the empty set as a connected space, but this article does not follow that practice. For a topological space X the following conditions are equivalent. X is connected. X cannot be divided into two disjoint non-empty closed sets. The only subsets of X which are both open and closed are X and the empty set. The only subsets of X with empty boundary are X and the empty set. X cannot be written as the union of two non-empty separated sets. All continuous functions from X to 0, 1 are constant, where 0, 1 is the two-point space endowed with the discrete topology. Connected components for the maximal connected subsets of a non-empty topological space are called the connected components of the space. The components of any topological space X form a partition of X. They are disjoint, non-empty, and their union is the whole space. Every component is a closed subset of the original space. It follows that, in the case where their number is finite, each component is also an open subset. However, if their number is infinite, this might not be the case, for instance. The connected components of the set of the rational numbers are the one-point sets, which are not open. Let be the connected component of X in a topological space X, and be the intersection of all clopene sets containing X then where the equality holds if X is compact housed or for locally connected. Disconnected space is a space in which all components of one-point sets is called totally disconnected. Related to this property, a space X is called totally separated if, for any two distinct elements X and Y of X, there exist disjoint open neighborhoods U of X and V of Y such that X is the union of U and V. Clearly any totally separated space is totally disconnected, but the converse does not hold. For example, take two copies of the rational numbers Q, and identify them at every point except zero. The resulting space, with the quotient topology, is totally disconnected. However, by considering the two copies of zero, one sees that the space is not totally separated. In fact, it is not even Hausdorff, and the condition of being totally separated is strictly stronger than the condition of being Hausdorff. Examples the closed interval 0, 2 in the standard subspace topology is connected, although it can, for example, be written as the union of 0, 1, and 1, 2. The second set is not open in the chosen topology of 0, 2. The union of 0, 1, and 3 is disconnected. A convex set is connected. It is actually simply connected. A Euclidean plane excluding the origin is connected, but is not simply connected. The three-dimensional Euclidean space without the origin is connected, and even simply connected. In contrast, the one-dimensional Euclidean space without the origin is not connected. A Euclidean plane with a straight line removed is not connected since it consists of two half-planes. 
the space of real numbers with the usual topology, is connected. If even a single point is removed from, the remainder is disconnected. However, if even a countable infinity of points are removed from n, where n2, the remainder is connected. Any topological vector space over a connected field is connected. Every discrete topological space with at least two elements is disconnected, in fact such a space is totally disconnected. The simplest example is the discrete two-point space. On the other hand, a finite set might be connected. For example, the spectrum of a discrete valuation ring consists of two points and is connected. It is an example of a Sierpinski space. The Cantor set is totally disconnected, since the set contains uncountably many points, it has uncountably many components. If a space X is homotopy equivalent to a connected space, then X is itself connected. The topologist sine curve is an example of a set that is connected but is neither path connected nor locally connected. The general linear group consists of two connected components the one with matrices of positive determinant and the other of negative determinant. In particular, it is not connected. In contrast, is connected. More generally, the set of invertible bounded operators on a Hilbert space is connected. The spectra of commutative local ring and integral domains are connected. More generally, the following are equivalent the spectrum of a commutative ring R is connected every finitely generated projective module over R has constant rank. R has no idempotent path connectedness. A path from a point X to a point Y in a topological space X is a continuous function F from the unit interval 0, 1 to X with F equals X and F equals Y. A path component of X is an equivalence class of X under the equivalence relation which makes X equivalent to Y if there is a path from X to Y. The space X is said to be path connected if there is exactly one path component, i.e., if there is a path joining any two points in X. Again, many authors exclude the empty space. Every path connected space is connected. The converse is not always true. Examples of connected spaces that are not path connected include the extended long line L asterisk and the topologist sine curve. However, subsets of the real line R are connected if and only if they are path connected. These subsets are the intervals of R. Also, open subsets of R n or C n are connected if and only if they are path connected. Additionally, connectedness and path connectedness are the same for finite topological spaces. Arc connectedness. A space X is said to be arc connected or arcwise connected if any two distinct points can be joined by an arc. That is a path F which is a homeomorphism between the unit interval 0, 1 and its image F. It can be shown any Hausdorff space which is path connected is also arc connected. An example of a space which is path connected but not arc connected is provided by adding a second copy 0 of 0 to the non-negative real numbers 0, infinity. 1 endows this set with a partial order by specifying that 0 less than a for any positive number e, but leaving 0 and 0 incomparable. 1 then endows this set with the order topology, that is 1 takes the open intervals equals x a less than x less than b, and the half open intervals 0 equals x 0 x less than a 0 a equals x 0 x less than a as a base for the topology. The resulting space is a T1 space but not a Hausdorff space. Clearly 0 and 0 can be connected by a path but not by an arc in this space. Local connectedness. A topological space is said to be locally connected at a point X if every neighborhood of X contains a connected open neighborhood. It is locally connected if it has a base of connected sets. It can be shown that a space X is locally connected if and only if every component of every open set of X is open. The topologist sine curve is an example of a connected space that is not locally connected. Similarly, a topological space is said to be locally path-connected if it has a base of path-connected sets.
An open subset of a locally path-connected space is connected if and only if it is path-connected. This generalizes the earlier statement about Rn and Cn, each of which is locally path-connected. More generally, any topological manifold is locally path-connected. Set operations. The intersection of connected sets is not necessarily connected. The union of connected sets is not necessarily connected. Consider a collection of connected sets whose union is, if is disconnected and is a separation of, then each must be entirely contained in either or, since otherwise, and would be a separation of, contradicting the assumption that it is connected. This means that, if the union is disconnected, then the collection can be partitioned to two subcollections, such that the unions of the subcollections are disjoint and open in. This implies that in several cases, a union of connected sets is necessarily connected. In particular, if the common intersection of all sets is not empty then again they cannot be partitioned to collections with disjoint unions, so their union must be connected. If the sets can be ordered as a linked chain, i.e., indexed by integer indices in, then again their union must be connected. If the sets are pairwise disjoint and the quotient space is connected, then must be connected. Otherwise, if is a separation of then is a separation of the quotient space. The set difference of connected sets is not necessarily connected. However, if x, y and their difference x, y is disconnected, then the union of y with each such component is connected. Proof. By contradiction, suppose y x1 is not connected. So it can be written as the union of two disjoint open sets, e.g., y x1 equals z1 z2. Because y is connected, it must be entirely contained in one of these components, say z1, and thus z2 is contained in x1. Now we know that x equals x2 equals x2 equals the two sets in the last union are disjoint and open in x, so there is a separation of x, contradicting the fact that x is connected. Theorems Main theorem, let x and y be topological spaces and let f, x, y be a continuous function. If x is connected then the image f is connected. This result can be considered a generalization of the intermediate value theorem. Every path connected space is connected. Every locally path connected space is locally connected. A locally path connected space is path connected if and only if it is connected. The closure of a connected subset is connected. The connected components are always closed. The connected components of a locally connected space are also open. The connected components of a space are disjoint unions of the path connected components. Every quotient of a connected space is connected. Every product of a family of connected spaces is connected. Every open subset of a locally connected space is locally connected. Every manifold is locally path connected. Graphs. Graphs have path connected subsets, namely those subsets for which every pair of points has a path of edges joining them. But it is not always possible to find a topology on the set of points which induces the same connected sets. The five-cycle graph is one such example. As a consequence, a notion of connectedness can be formulated independently of the topology on a space. To wit, there is a category of connective spaces consisting of sets with collections of connected subsets satisfying connectivity axioms. Their morphisms are those functions which map connected sets to connected sets. Topological spaces and graphs are special cases of connective spaces. Indeed, the finite connective spaces are precisely the finite graphs. However, every graph can be canonically made into a topological space by treating vertices as points and edges as copies of the unit interval. Then one can show that the graph is connected if and only if it is connected as a topological space. Stronger forms of connectedness there are stronger forms of connectedness for topological spaces, for instance, if there exists no two disjoint non-empty open sets in a topological space, x, x must be connected, and thus hyperconnected spaces are also connected. 
since a simply connected space is, by definition, also required to be path connected. Any simply connected space is also connected. Note however, that if the path connectedness requirement is dropped from the definition of simple connectivity, a simply connected space does not need to be connected. Yet stronger versions of connectivity include the notion of a contractible space. Every contractible space is path connected and thus also connected. In general, note that any path connected space must be connected but there exist connected spaces that are not path connected. The deleted comb space furnishes such an example, as does the above-mentioned topologist sine curve.